Over the years of working on driver distance, uh, we found that we couldn't always get players to what they think is the right thing, which is really high launch and low spin. And there was a missing ingredient, which was how does a player's attack angle affect their optimal launch and spin? So now, when players get fit by us, we have a chart that is based on their ball speed and their angle of attack. And, and when you combine those two things together, it gives you the perfect ingredients for what we're calling launch efficiency. Cameron Champ is a perfect example. A lot of people think he's misfit. He launches the ball too low, but what they don't understand is that his attack angle is down. He hits down when he's driving it really well about two degrees. And at his ball speed and his attack angle, he's gonna naturally create a little bit more spin and a lower launch angle by his attack angle. So we fit him into a window where his launch angle is between seven and a half and eight degrees, and his optimal spin is higher than what a lot of people would think. That's gonna generate the maximum amount of both carry distance, along with getting him a landing angle that's gonna give him a lot of roll. Not every optimal launch condition is high launch and low spin. There is a unique window for your specific speed and the angle of attack that you present to the golf ball.